So I'll just quickly go through my version 2 of the interface. Uh, all the visual aspects you can see already. I'll just click reset first so it changes back to the normal values. Uh, you start by clicking on marine class. Without clicking on a marine class it won't let you select any other weapons or any other equipment. Other equipment I should say. As you can see I've populated all these. Uh, this is coded in a way that uh, it's simple to add another object here or an object there or another object here. I just have to change a few variables and it will automatically resize the dialog, add a button, add whatever it is and make it for me. Then I can click accept it. Let's just start by clicking on Rifleman. It automatically populates these values because they're preset values which you can't change at the moment but I do plan on adding variations of equipment such as uh, allowing the rifleman to have a choose between a sidearm of a combat knife uh, M9, M9 tactical knife or M1911 but for now it's locked out all the values are here it still says combat knife here mm, data entry probably took the longest which is all the tooltips, all the text everywhere. Yeah, the least enjoyable part. I've manually sized the dialogues here though because there's. I didn't want to have too large a gap here. Otherwise, you would have something like, for instance, if, if I clicked reset and went down to Verdure with an upgrade, it has a huge blank spot. That's just because the advanced ones filled it up. Um, for now let's just go to custom marine because it lets you change everything manually and set it to whatever you like. So FN SCAR H long, all the stats are here, what is effective against, a little summary, and it sets it here. Sidearm, 44, Desert Eagle, sets it there, sets it here, so on. Uh, as you can see it always starts off these four basic ones, you can't have them off. Otherwise the values go all weird. Well, not that you'd be playing without them anyway. Reinforced armor. Crappy communications gear, which bugs whenever I click on accept without doing anything, but everything else works. Everything else goes out fine when I click accept, except that one for some reason. I'll have to figure out why. Heavy armor. All this stuff. All the values have been populated, this is exactly what it does. Uh, you'll see the weight change by 25, the movement speed change, the accuracy change, and the evasion also changes based on the weight. But energy region changes because of this. Popped up, there you go. Energy cells, add 5, adds a capacity of 100, but its weight cost is 25. Pops up as well. These make you faster, as it says here, or here. La la la. Supply is used to, as it says here, allows the processing of supply into ammunition, shotgun shells, grenades, and class related items. Vitals monitor transmits your vitals information to other players. Shield capacitor increases your shield capacity, which is currently zero at the moment. Advance, so it goes up. Your weight's already over, too bad. Uh, energy router, which sucks some energy region away, puts it into the shield region. Uh, which, with each of these, it also takes longer to for the shield delay. Each one increases by three, but the value significantly increases. Uh, yeah, there's also a nanite pack, which increases your HP region, blah blah blah. And all of these. The base classes all have bonuses, such as the flamethrower, see so the vitals information, energy, shields. If you go to the flamethrower, it increases the vitals, which cannot be done through equipment, which I might add to perks later, although heavily lowered. For the custom arena, I don't plan on having you be a being able to select everything at the start, probably only a few of them, like the M4A1 carbine and combat knife, M9. Just the basics, and a very few of these. These 
everything else pretty much will have to be unlocked by playing specific marines and doing specific things but yeah here's my pretty interface all shown for you so until I update it again make a new video that's it for now